I go around the corner to Mimi's and I get two eggs. And I get some toast because I deserve that nourishment. I haven't eaten. I can't eat after midnight tonight. So what are you going to have when you get home? A protein shake with no sugar in it because I don't want to raise my sugar levels. But I can't even put a fucking banana in there or fruit. But why don't you? You'll be home before midnight. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I could eat before midnight, but I don't want to put like anything in my like. If I eat a milkshake tonight, my sugar level is going to be high. Oh, and he's going to make me yeah. come in there in two weeks because he thinks I got fucking diabetes. And I got to go in there and do the whole fucking test over because I want to go hang out with you at North Hollywood Diner and have a vanilla milkshake kind of stuff, which I would kill for right now. But yeah, yeah. my point is, I just don't want to do one time. Dog, that sounds I strong. I didn't fucking think about it. I haven't had a fucking it. milkshake. I'm a bad, bad guy. I went in That's my trunk nice. to get something. Right before I went to the doctor, I go, hold on one second. I went in my trunk. This is about a year ago. You know how much I hate needles. Oh, I went God. in my fucking trunk. I, my wife comes down there with me. I get out of Bob Hope, and she goes, did you find that thing? I go, hold on. I left it in the trunk. And I open the trunk, and I go, oh, my God, that pot cookie's in here. And you know me. No, 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 please don't. De- leave. You know how much of a fucking momo I am. Without even thinking. I can't thinking, have a milkshake. But I'll... Listen to me, Lee. This is at 8 in the fucking morning. Without insane. realizing it, I take the cookie, open it up, and take a bite out of the fucking pot cookie. And I go inside and I sit down and I go, that fucking cookie is going to raise my blood, my sugar level in my blood. And sure enough, Joey Diaz, Jose, I go to the fucking thing. They take my blood. Two days later, who's on the fucking phone? Dr. Waxler. Listen. You got diabetes. No, I don't. I ate a fucking pop cookie before I went in and raised my fucking sugar level. He goes, well, you got to better come down here and prove it to me. I had to go back down there again, give him blood again. And then he was like, you're right. Don't eat a fucking cookie before you come see me. I'm yeah, man. So that's why I'm just going to have a milkshake. They got no sugar in this protein shake. Yeah. I got no carbs. I won't put fruit in it. And I'll just go to bed. My hope is that I sleep till 6 or 7. That's my big fucking dilemma here tonight. I got to sleep till 7 so I don't think about it. If I get up at 5, I'm fucked because I got to eat. What's going get... through your head like it, when like the, the taking blood and you pass out? Like what's going – like what do you get what, – like what, what part <sighs> of you makes you nervous? Lee, I, can I just uh, kind of answer that because – Oh, I hate needles too. I, I, but... I don't know what's going through his head, but when it was – we were at UFC and I had to hold him the fuck up, Okay. Uh, I know what the fuck was going through my head. Coco, come back. All right. And then he was all right, but he got lightheaded. Oh, my God. He wiped the kid's face. Oh. And the towel. I looked at the towel. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I focused on the towel. And it had blood on it. Like, maybe two months, maybe f- four months before that, I was at home watching the UFC. And BJ Penn fought Joe, whatever. And they were fighting. He busted his head. And that's the most blood I ever saw in my life. And I passed that on my couch. <laughs> and then I go to a UFC and I focus on the, the towel. Mm-hmm. And I fucking lost it, Lee. Thank God Ralph was there and there was a chick next to me with huge fake tits. She was a doctor. Oh, my gosh. She was amazing. And that's what fucking happened, brother. So, no, but, like, you said if you wake up early tomorrow, you're going to, like, it's going to worry you. Like, what Like what freaks you out? Just, first off, when I don't eat after an hour in the morning... I might go somewhere else. I need something. A bowl of fucking cereal. You know, I'm not going to eat something shitty, but I'll eat like an apple, something. Some water and an apple. Just to wake up and not be able to eat for two hours. Then go down there and do what I hate the most. Give blood and the finger up the ass. A double dilemma. And once they put the finger up the ass, it just jams up your electrodes. Trust me. Wait till you turn 50. You're going to think about what I told you. For people at home, they don't know what I'm saying. They're like, Joy, what are you talking about? It, like, jams you up for a minute, especially if that's <laughs> not your world. If that's not your world, the first time that I, I was, remember I was going to a testosterone doctor. And he goes, listen, I got bad news. My partner wants to see you. I go, all right. I didn't even fucking, I, like, I take a shit that morning. I wipe my ass. But, you know, sometimes you take a, a shit and leave some in your little muffler. And I go to this doctor. And he's happens. like, come in the back. I got to check you out. And I go, you're not drawing blood. He goes, no, no, I got to check you out. And he goes, turn around. And I remember him putting us two, and I could hear like the, <laughs> the, the leftover that was in there. Uh, I didn't even want to look at the glove. They take it out. Uh, this guy ripped me apart. He ri- he had his finger deep in there, and he was looking for shit. And I was like, Did oh, he find it? I don't know, Lee. I almost man, passed out. I've had that twice. <laughs> oh my man, God. I've had that twice. And that's I'm, not I'm, my world, people. So please don't think I'm. Uh, you never had a girl do that to you? No, guy. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm a Catholic. <laughs> No, we all find your line now. 
That's your mind. It's just, it's not a girl or it's not a, it's just something. It just feels weird. It just feels fucking, it's the weirdest feeling I ever had. Like it made me feel (laughs) weird. And I'm prepared for it tomorrow. I listen, I get, in, listen, I get in my fucking car, I get on the one on one, I come home and I move on. I just want to be able to do shit the rest of the day tomorrow. I don't like fainting in the morning. It kind of ruins my fucking day, you know? I can see that, yeah. So let me ask you something, though. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a special pops out on Netflix that you taped in Vegas. When did you tape this with a fucking hat on like a magician? I taped it um, as part of a deal uh, with a production company, and I uh, recorded it at the uh, uh, South, South Point. Point Casino and uh, Spa. It's a fantastic place to go there. And um, I uh, uh, I put it out, and uh, Netflix, they saw me in... I had it for free. I had it, I had, I had it all done. It was part of a deal. I'd host uh, one of their shows, and they would give me this, and I was like, "Sure, no problem." And um, we did, uh, we did the, we d- we had it fully done. And then Netflix goes, "Hey, uh, we we want." They saw me at the Wild West Comedy Fest in in uh, Nashville, and they they gave me a big deal, and they go for two specials, and I go, "I'll deliver both in November," and they're like, and it was like a month and a half later. And they're going, no way. And I go, I guarantee it. And I gave them two uh, the, like, by the 15th of December. And uh, they, they put the uh, Unruly out first. And then they did a soft on Imperfectly Yours because they thought it was a smaller venue. But they liked the material. So, you know, I, I'm just very fortunate. Netflix is uh, sponsoring uh, my fall tour. I've got 80 theaters I'm doing across North America. And um, I'm coming to a place near you. When do you start the tour? Um, Coco, we start in... Uh, it, it's it's warming up now uh, with a couple of club dates. Like, I'm getting the new show down, okay, is what I'm working on right now. Um, in San Jose... Uh, this week it's kind of a mini theater, and so it'll start giving me the feel. Like, and then, and then Utah, I'm there. I'm warming up because I want a fucking a tough audience. And there's a lot of Mormons and Jack Mormons come out, and I'm controversial, and they don't like that shit. All right, and then I want to, I want to work on my Mexican stuff in Phoenix, and then they all start. 